Hi guys, it's Mindy, and I'm about to do my very first tutorial with you guys. And this one is, do you have what it takes to become a web developer? Now, I know a lot of people have asked, do I have what it takes to become a web developer? Do I want to be a web developer? Is it a lot of work? Is it hard? Do I have to have a high IQ? Well, I'm here to tell you all about it. Just so you know what you need to do if you decide you want to be a web developer, a web programmer, or whatever it is you want to be. Now, what you're going to need to start is, first, the ability to problem solve. If you are not a good problem solver, then this is probably not the field for you. You might want to check out something else, like web design, where you basically create the layouts and design the page. It's more artistic side than analytical side. A lot of patience. If you don't have a lot of patience, you may not want to do this field as well because you're going to spend a lot of late nights trying to figure out a lot of different problems. If you don't have the patience for it, give it up, leave it alone, move on to the next thing. An analytical mind. I'm going to tell you right now. You have to be analytical. You don't have to be mathematical. A lot of people think just to get into computers, you have to know a lot of math, but you don't have to know a lot of math. You can successfully avoid math in some regions of programming, but you do have to have an analytical mind. You do have to be able to analyze lines of codes. And that's very important. Next, the ability to adapt quickly. This is of the extreme importance. If you do not have the ability to adapt quickly, you're going to be in trouble because the computer field changes minute by minute, sometimes second by second. So you have to have the ability to change and adapt with it. One minute you'll have a program that requires a certain code. The next minute that code will be changed or modified or updated and you'll have to learn a new set of codes or languages at the spur of the moment. So you have to be able to adapt very quickly. Next, Enjoy silence and late nights. Now I say this to let you know that there are going to be a lot of nights where you're up late thinking to yourself, why? Why did I do this? Or why am I doing this? But in language and programming, you're going to be up late nights trying to figure out what's wrong with your code. Trying to debug something. Just trying to find out what the heck is going on. And why won't your program work? That requires a lot of late nights and silence because you don't want noisy backgrounds. And a lot of times if you work in an office, it's going to be a quiet background. You're going to be working alone. You're going to be working independently. So if you enjoy working independently and working alone, this field is probably the best field for you. Next, handling deadlines well. You have to be on it. You really have to be on it. If you have a deadline that's in 30 days, you have to produce what they need in 30 days, whether you're working freelance or if you're working in an office. So you have to be deadline conscious at all times because the last thing you want to do is deliver late work 24-7. To be honest with you, a lot of people in this field often finish their work prior to their deadlines and then kind of sit back and chill and then hand it in like, whew, that was so hard. It was killing me. But you have to figure that out for yourself. It does take time. It does take a lot of effort to get proficient enough to be able to come in ahead of dead, ahead of your deadline. But a lot of times it's usually one deadline or ahead of deadline as long as you know what you're doing. If you get stuck in a debugging problem, you could be sitting there for days trying to figure out what's wrong with your program. So have someone else, another programmer, Go through your program code line for line and help you out because it always is better when you have two, two eyes on something than if you have one. Now, learn quickly. This is crucial. I don't know how many times I can say this. You have to be a fast learner. You cannot be someone who takes a long time to try to comprehend something. Fast learning is a part of this field. If you do not have the ability to learn quickly, you may want to change your mind about this field. I'm not saying don't do it. Of course, go forth with your gold. If it's your dream, do it. But if you're not a fast learner, you might want to rethink it. 
there are other program, other um, jobs you can do in web uh, web design. There is um, there is web authoring. There's a lot of other things you can do. Web content writer, writer. There's a lot of things you can do that doesn't necessarily involve you being a developer or a programmer if you're not a fast learner. That don't mean you sit around trying to figure out whether or not you're a fast learner or not or say think you're slow. Because like I said, if it's your dream, go forth. Do it. And the last one, two to four year college degree cert certifications or experience. Now, I'll say this for college degree. You don't absolutely have to have a college degree. You can actually get into this field starting as something in a, on a lower level, like maybe a web designer, like I mentioned before. Get into it. Start learning your coding, and you can actually gain experience through coding through your job and actually get into the web development field. However, many and pretty much most of the web development jobs that are out there right now require a degree. Uh, either a two-year degree, but a four-year degree is always better. Now, you can also get in with web design or web development certificates or certifications that you can get through a college or a technical program. That's fine. And like I said, also, experience. Well, that's all I wanted to tell you about what you need to start in web development right now. My next tutorial is going to be what you need to get into web development. So I'll see you at their next tutorial, and I hope you join me. Please subscribe, and thank you so much. Bye.